everyone and welcome to the Shape Your Future Healthy Kitchen sponsored by TSET. I'm Heidi. I am here with Chef Val from OUTU School of Community Medicine. Always great to have you here. Uh, we are definitely in the heat of summer. Right. So what are we making today? So we're making a cool cucumber tomato salad. I like the cool added in there. I mean, you're not going <laughs> to turn your oven on. You're not going to cook anything, blanch anything. You're just going to okay. chop some things up and add it together and you're done. done right? And eat. Okay. Okay. All right, so we have cucumber and tomato here. I just wanted to show you one thing. So this is a cucumber that we went ahead and used a spoon to kind of scrape the seeds out. And that's okay. just going to keep your salad from getting too watery oh. when it sits for a day or two. That's a good and tip. So you can just do some slices. Okay. These are going to be like little half moons. Perfect. And there's something about cucumber and tomato that just scream summer for me. I don't know why or what that is. It's a great combination. Yes. Right. And then the tomato, so I usually just cut the end off. We'll check out how our knife here. Here we go. Okay. And um, same thing, just some small half moons to go in there. Okay. And this again is just a nice way to get some of your additional veggies into your diet. Right. Along with like as a main course, side dish, either or. Right. In okay. anything that you're having, this is going to be a nice complement to it, just about. Okay. Right? Perfect. Okay. All right. So, again, easy peasy, especially if all your vegetables are chopped for you, right? Right. Okay. If it could just be set up this way. Right. Right. Um, so, cucumber, we have some nice red onion. You can kind of choose the amount you want on that. Okay. Some sliced tomato. And, I mean, again, talk about easy. I was going to um, say, it's literally three ingredients, obviously, right. minus some of the dressing. Um, we're going to do just a sprinkle of salt. So let's say half of a teaspoon of salt. And I mean, this is really up to you, but the pepper, I think it goes really well um, with this dish. Okay. And then this is some um, vinegar. So we're actually using rice wine vinegar, but you could use whatever kind you want. The rice wine vinegar is nice because it has a little bit lower acidity. But if you have white vinegar or um, uh, apple cider vinegar, mm -hmm. add a little bit of water to it to kind of cut that acidity. Okay. Because it can be like overwhelming. And that, that just goes on. And this is just kind of your, your marinade, your... It's just a dressing. Dressing. Yeah, it's like a vinaigrette. I guess, yeah, of. dressing would be the way to say it, not marinade. And so um, a little bit of olive oil that goes on there. And many times we'll say, oh, you need to use um, canola oil for a lot of things that we're cooking or making. But um, in this case, I'm going to say the olive oil is going to give it a little bit more flavor. Okay. And that's what you just poured in, correct? Yes. Okay. Because all of a sudden of you can oil. just, I, again, I wish we had what smell a vision because right. you don't, but it smells amazing. It does. And it just looks so fresh and crisp, a perfect summer, summer compliment. So you can just take a little taste of that if you would like to. And you know, this is one of those things that would be better if mm -hmm. you let it sit for 30 minutes or so, right. even out of the refrigerator. It's just going to help those flavors meld, then stick it in the fridge, but you can make this and it's going to last two or three days for mm. sure. Nice and crisp. Yes. And it's so just fresh, refreshing is the perfect word for it. I love this and it'll be a great compliment to any, any fish, chicken, any of that sort yep, of your cookouts. Perfect. Yes. Thank you. As always, if you want to learn more about this recipe or any of the other recipes, go ahead and head to KJRH.com.